Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome to First Winter. This is a horror game about a nuclear submarine and the terrible disaster that happens on it. It was a really fun experience, very short, but very effective. And I really hope you enjoy. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But let's not waste any more time. Let's hop into the game. Let's go. Oh, let's go. I love the graphics. I'm in Los Angeles in 1982. Press E to pick up. Video game. Soviet sub takeover. <laughs> What's this? Uh, I'm glad it's pixelated so I don't get banned. Can I interact with the computer? I cannot interact with the computer. All right, we got a nice room. We vibing? <laughs> nice. I hope that's copyright free. <laughs> Is that the Godfather? It looks like the Godfather. WNG 103.7. We'll get back to the music right away, but I do have some breaking <laughs> news this afternoon coming out of the White House. The U.S. Navy is reporting it's intercepted a Soviet submarine in the North Pacific. Uh-oh. The suspicious vessel was first spotted around 120 nautical miles west of Los Angeles. A senior United States Navy officer has described the nuclear power submersible as being provocatively close which does not sound good, and it's currently unknown if the vessel is equipped with nuclear weapons. The Soviet Minister for Foreign Affairs has denied any provocation and insists that the submarine is in international waters and therefore has no obligation to abandon its routine exercises in the area. So we'll give you more on this situation as and when this we sounds, get it. Uh... But now let's get right back into the music right now on WNG 103.7. Hey, is this Forrest Nash, dude? Oh. What the hell? From Killer Frequency? There's aliens. Um. Excuse me? Hello? It's extremely dark. I don't have a flashlight. Um, my computer is turned on. Hello? Click the mouse. Joystick. Just use the joystick to move. This looks like the exact same door from the computer. Ah! <gasps> Okay, yes, it was indeed. Holy fuck. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Um Hello? That was a big that was a good one. Uh, that got me <laughs> that got me big time. It's locked? Oh come on. Why this game is so musical. The beats in the background? You picked up a cassette tape. This is like, I feel like I'm being hypnotized like MK Ultra style with this background music. What the fuck? Uh, does this door open now? Thank you very much. I am definitely going insane. That's for sure. There's nothing in this room. It's completely empty. Do I gotta close the door maybe? Maybe? And then open, oh wait, what? It's different now. <laughs> what the hell is happening? Okay. It's locked once again. Oh, Jesus Christ. I got scared by a chair and two and a table. <laughs> there is nothing intrinsically wrong with being in a location if your actions in that place cause no harm or intimidation. What? A problem may occur on the other hand if one is considered a threat whilst occupying such a vicinity. This is cursed. The mother will risk her life to chase away anything should she perceive a risk to her car. Uh oh. Am I a threat? I don't want to be a threat. I want to be a friend. I would love to be a friend. Uh, survival under atomic attack. Someone's watched Oppenheimer. I loved Oppenheimer. It was just slightly too long. That's all. I, I was very interested, but I I was with people who got <laughs> re like by the end, they were audibly sighing and looking at their phones. And I was just like, I was still having a great time, but I can see how people did not enjoy it. Do I got to close the door? Probably. Yes, I see. Okay. Closing doors is a major mechanic. Um, well, let's go in here. Oh, fuck. What have I done? What have I done? I'm stuck. Door stuck. I think I think I bugged out the game. 
Oh, uh, never mind. I didn't. What the hell? Where'd the water come from? Hello? Um, this is weird. We're like PTing, but in a strange way. The door moved. Oh, we're in a submarine. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hi there. Are you dead? Damn, this is cool. Hi, sir. Is this blood water? Yeah, 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 I get it, I get it. What the fuck? A new place to go? Body's still there. Wait, didn't I come from here? It's locked. I'm genuinely terrified. Are we in the... Press E to use Morse code. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I gotta... What was it? Boom. 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 Do I got an SOS? We gotta fill this in, right? Okay. Long. Short. Long. Short. Long. Short. Long. Long. Oh. Okay. It's long, short, long, short, long, short, long, long. Okay. I see. I see. Uh, we probably got to fill that in. So long, short, long, short, long, short, long, long. There you go. Easy peasy. I'm insane with it. Lose lips might sink ships. <laughs> I mean, I can see. Oh, the water's gone. What is this noise? What the most annoying noise ever just dropped? Man, these are some smooth changes. What the fuck? Uh-oh, we're gonna get another cassette tape. Hi. Everything is okay? To retreat and save face, especially in the theater of war, has been a perplexity as old as conflict itself. The child may well tidy his room, but not directly after a dressing down. What? <laughs> Left to his own devices will allow him to decide for himself, or at least to appear to do so. Uh. What? <laughs> Excuse me, why are you talking about a child? Excuse! It's a poltergeist. It's a poltergeist, guys. We saw a polter explosion. Get out of here. Oh, uh, the beds are floating. The beds are floating. This is not good. Oh, that's fucked. Um. That's really cool. This game is awesome, but terrifying, but awesome. What a visual effect. Hi, sir. Please, no. I'm gonna go. Something's trying to break through. I don't want it. Uh-oh. And the water just teleported in. You can't hide that from me, silly goober. Our, our submarine is gonna implode if it's already full of water. Something appears to be holding it shut. Something or someone. I hope it, it might have been someone then. Combination safe. Use keyboard numbers to unlock. Fuck! We don't have a code. You need a code? Note, there's something in there. I can see it. Okay, we need to open that. So we need to find a key. Maybe in here. What the hell? Oh. Key, key, key. In this room. There. Wait, no. The water has, has lowered. <laughs> Classic. 
Where's the... Oh, there it is. You picked up a locker key. And then... What the fuck? Javelin, thank you for the 16. Pick up a cassette tape? Oh, come on. I thought we were gonna just unlock the safe. I think we're being attacked. We're under attack. There's that one game coming out relatively soon about that, like, boat that disappeared for a while. That, like, hyper-realistic boat game. I wonder if that's coming out soon. If a subordinate shows disobedience, then naturally he will need to be disciplined. Standing by a subordinate's rash decision, however, is even more important. You should never allow the other side to suspect mutiny. If the viability of the product is compromised, then the reputation of the corporation will surely fall. Okay. I thought you were gonna give me a code, but I guess you're just gonna lock me in a room. All right then, well, fuck me. Do we have to look up? Oh, yep, sure. That's exactly how you do it. So locked though. Can I go back to the submarine? I wanna fill in that code. Or do we have to replay to get the code? Ugh. Hi. Hi, sir. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me. I got another cassette tape. Ah! <laughs> Why did that scare me so much? What the fuck? Hello, sir. I'm getting goosebumps. I don't like you. I do not like you. Do not follow me. What? I'm dead. That was unexpected. What the fuck? I've been locked in a... This game is doing some really cool shit with the like perspective. Every time you look around, stuff is changed. Okay, sometimes it does it right in your face though. <laughs> oh. Rip that boat. London? London. New York? Rip New York. Moscow? Los Angeles? Oh boy. <laughs> Rip them. I mean... Hold on. You guys, no, thank you, please no. Hello? You gonna kill me? This is just a picture of a car. The sonar's going off. It's very dark. Uh oh, it's gonna be, we need to follow the, the sonar sound? Or is it just gonna be a maze? Oh, there's a room. Are these people dead? I think they might be dead. They may or may not be dead. Is that a code? 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 No code? No code. This is what is this what this is what happens in borrow trauma if you turn on your sonar and there's like monsters nearby you just fucking die. Do not do that. I still need to make a, another video on that game. Uh, this is a long, long hallway. Is this even going anywhere? I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna and I haven't moved at all. Not so funny anymore. They're all gonna stand up. When I look around, there's gonna be a bunch of people behind me. Oh, never mind. I thought. All right, we're fine. I don't have a cassette tape. What? Wait, am I? Oh, now I have one. Excuse a me. Stalemate is the situation in which further okay. action okay. or progress by opposing parties seems impossible. The deadlock cannot be broken for fear of one side or the other losing everything and gaining nothing. The knot can be loosened, however, 
if both sides become better informed of the other party's situation. More often than not, though, neither side will want to show their hand before the other, and thus the stalemate continues. I don't want to look behind me. <laughs> oh, it's fine. It's fine. They're totally not going to jump scare me. I appreciate that. Ah! <laughs> you suck. You suck. Fuck you guys. Goodness gracious. Uh oh. Oh boy. Thank you. Yep, totally not cursed at all. <laughs> Damn, that's a cool, that's cool lighting. I'll look from this side. All right, I'm, I'm taking some, I'm taking some screenshots. Famous last words. Join him. Can I walk into them? Oh, they're already gone. Everything changed. It was all a dream. Was I on this submarine? Am I like a, a Navy SEAL or something? It's too far away to pick up high. I'm a submarine. Is it called a submariner? <laughs> I guess. Guys, stop being so stereotypical. <laughs> God damn it. Hey, I'm looking for keys, I promise. I'm looking for secrets. There, we still need the combination. Use the. Co we don't have a code yet, right? Yeah, I don't think there is a. I don't think there's a code here. Thumbprint scan identif- What the fuck? Hello? What are you looking at? Yo, weirdo? <laughs> Every time I fail, he looks up. <laughs> Open the door. The control room. Are they spying on me? You picked up a valve. Okay. Locked, requires a key. I have never, there's never been a, a, a horror game I've played. Maybe this is it, but I've never played a horror game where it's about like a person working on a submarine, losing their mind and going crazy. Cause apparently that's very common. I read an article about like how some guy like destroyed parts of the nuclear engine of the submarine. Cause he just went absolutely crazy and they had to like bring back the submarine to arrest this guy. <laughs> cause he just like, it's not for everyone. Cause you're just stuck on a submarine with no com communication, especially if it's like a, uh, a secret nuclear submarine. That's like doing these like covert missions for, for days on end. And they, they have to, like, be completely quiet because they can't give away their location. You completely lose your mind. I can see that happen. All right, but where the hell is this code? We need something. For months on end. Probably even years on end in some situations. But I change. Oh, we have to use the valve on this random pipe over here. Okay. <laughs> I see, and now we're probably gonna be able to reach this or something? Because now the water is higher so we can get the bottle. Okay, is it gonna have something on there? A code maybe? Trying to rotate it, I don't see anything. Oh! Oops, I broke it. Five, one, two, three, okay. Five, one, two, three, finally. I understand. Five, one, two, three. We go back to this office. Five, one, two, three. We picked up a locker key. Excuse me? Um. You picked up axe. Okay. Am I gonna chop off someone's thumb now and use it on the thumbprint scanner? Is that what's going on? Oh, uh, 
little underwater. I can't take your thumbs. You're underwater. I'm swinging. I'm swinging. I'm swinging. Okay, that's where he came from. Wait, was there any other body? I don't remember there being another body somewhere, but we have to find one of them. Maybe we just break down the door with the thumbprint scanner because... <laughs> Let's see. Can we just break this? Oh yeah! I'm here to steal your thumb. Get ready, dude. Okay, what the fuck? We need to lower the water so that we can chop their thumbs. I see. It's, I, I was just, we were, it was a walking simulator for so long that my brain like turned off all its critical thinking abilities. And I wasn't even thinking about solving puzzles. Can I take your thumb, sir, please? Maybe yours? Chop your whole arm off. Oh! Yep. All right. Eat to pick up an arm. That's totally not going to be suspicious. Uh oh. I may or may not have tripped the alarm. Excuse me. I think I'm going to get shot up here. He's still there. Christ. What the fuck? Um, I'm sorry. I don't know why you, zap douche. Launch sequence initiated. Target acquired and validated. No, please don't do it. Uh oh. Wait, what's this coordinate? Elementary analysis. Press one to cancel launch intentions. One. Security code. Uh, I don't know. Help me. Answer. Answer. I can't. What am I supposed to do? I don't have the secure five. I can't do it. I can't type anything. It doesn't allow me to type. Well, rip. Uh oh. I may have just launched a nuclear missile. Uh, oopsie daisy. <laughs> oh, God. Uh oh. <laughs> This is the true horror. Is am I launching it? Is it exploding in the sky? Wait, are we not going to see the giant mushroom cloud? I was looking forward to it. I'm back in the box. What's in the box? Sixty seconds to go. The gravity of the situation was underestimated. Like a western gunfight, one party, it would seem, has drawn first. <laughs> the bullet, however, takes 12 minutes to reach the cowboy, giving both sides ample uh -oh. opportunity to empty their barrels. Slowly, the seconds tick away. I may have just ended humanity. I'm sorry, everyone. We're back home, excuse me. <laughs> back to the music. Let's go. <laughs> I like this way more than the than the nuclear explosion. There gotta be more news. This is for sure the Godfather, right? It's, it might be 17 pixels, but I can recognize that. <laughs> Nothing? There's not gonna be any like, we have news for you. I can turn off. Ooh. Uh, I've been locked in. Excuse me. Let me out. I'm gonna launch the nuclear missile from my computer. It's locked. Oh. What? I'm playing a mini game. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm in an insane asylum. They're in an insane asylum. I'm just a guy. This message is transmitted at the request of the United States Office of Civil Defense at 3.40 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. This is believed to be 
Hi. Um, could you please sit down again? Or lay down? I don't. How? Why is this game so good? I was not expecting this. This was just a random horror game I wanted to check out. <laughs> ah! Oh God. Well, and that's how it ends. <laughs> Damn, dude. That's fucked up. <laughs> Holy shit. I don't even know what it means. Ending the first nuclear. Wait, there's multiple endings. For my wife who supported me my mo for months while I made this thing. Damn, that was really cool. <laughs> that was really cool. Is there multiple endings? Okay, so let's see. Uh, we tried to get the ending ourselves, but I think you have to start the game all the way from the beginning. So let's just see what happens. So this is the first ending where everything explodes. And then now let's try to get the good ending, which I think you have to do. Yeah, you have to do this at the beginning. Uh, so you have to put... Play this mini game right at the beginning, which is like <laughs> this like retro style mini game where you jump over objects and you shoot people. Like what the hell? And it is so long. Like look at this. This whole game is just like just shooting and doing stuff. And then if you complete it, you get to the shelf, which will then give you this. Okay. Now I don't know. I'm assuming this code is randomized every time, so we can't fill it in ourselves. But then, if you get here with this code, uh, you'll be able to obviously stop the launch sequence. And then what will happen? Type the whole thing. Nice. Okay. I couldn't even type. It didn't even let me type. So I we definitely needed to do this at the very beginning. That's cool. Security code verified. Aborting missile launch. We saved the world. The world has been saved. And then what? That's it? Nice. We're gonna get arrested though, for sure. What? what? Excuse me, helicopter? What are you doing? Okay, and then we go back to the apartment, I would assume. Yes, we're back, but what's the tape gonna be now? The tape's gonna be different. Yes. A narrow escape. Two seemingly unrelated situations proved to be the key to avoiding catastrophe. Summer will follow spring as it should. There will not be a nuclear winter. <laughs> Let's go! Yeah. Yes! <laughs> God, it's so loud. There you go. Okay, so that is the good ending. Catastrophe avoided. And that's that's all the endings there are. So yeah, thank you, Scissormon, for providing the endings, endings there. Uh, very cool game. I'm impressed. I wanted to just play this random game, but yeah, this uh, I, I didn't realize it was uh, such, a, such a good one with such amazing scares. And very interesting, like where you turn around and stuff changes behind you and a very cool concept as well there aren't many like cold war horror games where everything i mean there are like fallout i guess fallout uh is a is a type of type of that game but i haven't played many short indie games that are like that so yeah i can't interact with this mini game i have to do that at the very beginning but yeah that is uh first winter we're gonna explode <laughs> and i'll see you in the next video so yeah that was uh, that was first winter uh very well done developer i loved it and i hope you enjoyed it as well over on youtube if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it and if you want to join the lovely gamers here in chat who you almost can't see because they're on white on white uh you can join us over at twitch.tv slash or click the link in the description down below thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one bye guys have a good one bye bye <laughs>